Hello, we are back at it here, thinking and going through Scripture some more. So we're going to continue on with 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 20 and 21. I'm just going to dive right on into it. It says, He was foreknown, he meaning Jesus, before the foundation of the world, but was manifested in these last times for your sake. Through him you now trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. So really, Peter's just pointing out the necessity of Christ here, and um, is just the foundation of everything we believe in. And as we, you know, if you, if you go back through, we're, we're we're foreigners. We have temporary residence here, and and we've been bought back by Christ through His precious blood, through um, His 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 immense unconditional love and grace and mercy, and were ransomed because of Christ. And Peter here is just saying, yes, Jesus has always been before the world, and now he is manifested in these last times, meaning that he was incarnate in during that time when he was, and he, he walked the earth so that Jesus was fully God. Jesus was fully man. And how those two things intersect and work together is somewhat of a complete and utter mystery because it's two complete whole natures and it's and in, in fact this is a discussion that's um, raged in Christianity um, for for many many hundreds of years and was the subject of some of the councils and things and and really what we land on is what's called the hypostatic union and yes the, that it's two complete whole natures into one complete whole Jesus who is divine and human fully both because if he isn't fully both um, if he wasn't fully human, he didn't actually die, and therefore his sacrifice was nothing, but we know it's precious. And if he wasn't God, he wasn't perfect, fully God, then he wasn't fully perfect, and therefore we are not ransomed or saved. So those two things are super important. And it, Peter's saying here that, that Christ came, Jesus came and was manifested for our sake, again, for our salvation. And it's through him that we trust in God the Father, who raised him through um, his power and that Jesus now has this power over death and over over the grave and, and it's his glory that we are walking into and stepping into and so it's just it's like this very short snapshot of the faith here and, and this is all we have to rest on. This is what our faith resides in. This is the only hope that we really have is that Jesus was this. And again, as, as you just think about what does this mean for us daily? Again, I, I, I think it just goes to the fact that we are not capable of saving ourselves. We are not capable of being anything other than sinners. And if we are not capable of anything other than sin, then we have to rely on something greater than us to take us out of that sin, which is Jesus. And he always has been and always will be our Savior. And it's faith and trust and hope in him and in his plan of what's going on, not in our our schemes and our our devices, our, our desires whatsoever. So, I guess, rest with comfort knowing that it is about Christ. And daily, it's just surrendering to that, knowing that that is super hard. But again, if if we are more precious than anything else, and he is the unblemished, spotless lamb, as I talked about in the last verses, then he is capable to actually not just give the hope, but to fulfill that hope we have in him. So it is my hope that you rest your hope in Christ. So thanks for continuing to join and follow along, and we'll get right back at it as soon as we can. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.